through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 178. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're doing our DVD rundown for the week of August 14th. You know, kind of a fun week, not mm -hmm. too shabby. Yeah. Got, got some interesting releases, Definitely. I'll give it that. First up, kind of one of the headliners, I guess. Probably Ooh. one of the biggest films this year. If there, probably the biggest film if there weren't The Avengers mm -hmm. or The Dark Knight Rises. Or a lot of other movies. That's ah, probably pretty high. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about The Hunger Games. Yes. It's finally coming out. Mm -hmm. You got a, a nice... Uh, full um, release. You got either the Blu-ray Ultraviolet mm -hmm. release or the DVD Ultraviolet mm. release. Sadly, not all of them in one thing together, but you know, womp, womp, what you going to do. Uh, you got some good special features on it, mm -hmm. though. You got a uh, uh, profile of Susan Collins, who's the writer mm. of Hunger Games, okay. and a discussion of the phenomenon of the Hunger Games. Phenomena. Phenomena. Do, do, Phenomena. Do, do, do. <laughs> you got a, a a featurette on the making of the Hunger Games, which I'm cool. sure a lot of people are going to want to know. Because oh, yeah. I mean, after Twilight and mm -hmm. Harry Potter, this is probably yeah the next the like, next giant franchise. I mean, they're already franchise. well, they're already talking about the next three oh, yeah. films. They're so. already casting people. Yeah. So after that, you also have a conversation with Gary Ross, the director, mm. and Elvis Mitchell, as well as preparing for. The games, Ooh. a director's process, which is well, a well. Blu-ray exclusive. If you're oh. wanting to get that, you better buy the Blu-ray version. You better. Just saying. You better. I think, um, you know, if you're a fan of The Hunger Games, it's pretty much a slam dunk, and yeah. I think most people did. I thought it was a pretty good film. I like it. No, not too shabby. So let's do it. Do it. Yeah. Next up, we're going to be talking about one of your favorites, mm. season three. Community. <sighs> Thank God. Thank God. Sadly, the last Harmon yeah, season. Yeah, sadly, the last Harmon season. Uh, a pretty good season overall, mm -hmm. I would oh, say. Oh, an amazing season with a Emmy-nominated episode on it. Mm -hmm. Paradigms of uh, Human Chaos. Very nice. And, you know, as as you said, the last of a the Dan... Remedial Chaos, sorry. Paradigms Way of Remedial Chaos. Up. Way to fuck it up. Uh, this is the last of the Harmon uh, era. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you're a Harmon fan, mm -hmm. you better better get in there and enjoy it while you can. Yes. Strangely, they've released none of the community seasons on Blu-ray. Mm. Don't know what that's all about. I, I, I blame NBC. I, I believe you can get them on much. Amazon Instant Video as HD versions huh. of the episodes if you're so inclined. But yeah, I don't know why. I'm just going to blame NBC. I, 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 I think it's probably because I think of lack of demand, but it just it feels very weird. Yeah. It feels very weird. I'd take it on Blu-ray because they use some, if you see that stuff live on high def these yeah. are crazy color i mean it's it's done already i don't know how much yeah. complicated it is it's just be like burn, burn. <laughs> even if you just put the exact same version on yeah. blu-ray who yeah. cares exactly uh special features we have a gleeful community christmas oh that's such a good episode yeah you have uh this is war uh mm. pillows versus blankets mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as well as commentaries from the cast and crew on a bunch of the episodes like i don't know probably I think probably all of them probably close to if not I mean, I mean, all of the episodes, not all the cast. Right. But, you know, <laughs> they usually uh, rotate through who they got. They got yeah. different people. For as well time. as bonus outtakes, which, mm -hmm. you know, for a show like this is yeah. probably actually I'm interested excellent. to see the uh, This Is War, considering that whole episode is a Ken Burns yes. parody. So right. to see a making of something that's a Ken Burns parody was almost going to be a documentary about the episode that's a documentary. Yeah. About Based on it's a documentarian. Meta. Yeah. Yeah. That's meta. That's you why know, we love it. We love it's community. community awesome. Great show. Mm -hmm. uh, decent DVD release. Mm -hmm. I I personally am still holding out for the Blu rays, mm. but you know, I can't fault you if you want to buy those DVDs. They're pretty, I just want it. My, they're good. I just want it. My hairy little mitts. They're pretty good. Uh, next up, one that is again pretty much a slam dunk mm -hmm. if you're a fan of the movie criterion release of ooh, the royal tenenbaums ooh criterion a lot of people saying the right words spencer yeah. <laughs> a lot of people would argue you know that the royal tenenbaums was the last great wes anderson movie interesting uh i, I would mean, think ignoring fantastic mr fox seen moonrise kingdom yet I, I think it's not even that moonrise kingdom isn't good mm. it's just that moonrise kingdom sort of feels like you know a lot of the other mm. wes anderson films and for and whatever. you somehow think the Royal Tender Moms doesn't? I I don't say that. I personally okay. included in that. Okay. So, you know, so you know my current, stance. So you're currently 
pushing someone else's opinion I, <laughs> that we're arguing I, over. When, okay, I, cool. when, when I Just talk to sure. people about their favorite Wes Anderson movies, mm -hmm. majority of the time it goes Royal Tenenbaums, next most popular is Rush Hour, Rushmore. and then Rushmore, sorry. Mm -hmm. God, thank God. That'd be a really interesting Russia. Uh, Rushmore, uh -huh. and then tailing those two, people like me who are smart mm. choose Fantastic Mr. Fox. <laughs> Either way, Criterion release, Either Royal way, Tenenbaums. Yes. And, you know, classic... I would uh, say probably his overall most famous yes, of his films. Yes, we'll go with that. We'll yeah. go with that as well. But, you know, the interesting thing is he's still alive, so mm -hmm. he's able to participate with Criterion in the release of mm -hmm. it. So you have, you know, a supervised transfer of the HD, awesome. which is approved by Wes Anderson. You know, audio commentary by Wes Anderson. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you've got interviews with and behind the scenes footage of the actors. Awesome. You have scrapbook featuring young Richie's murals and paintings and more. Nice. You have a insert with Eric Anderson's drawings of the Tenenbaum house. Mm. Essay by film critic Kent Jones. K pretty much a classic Criterion mm -hmm. release. Loaded. All that in a bag of chips. Yep, loaded to the gills. Literally not a bag of chips, but you know what I mean. One of these days, Criterion's going to release some movie that, with a bag of chips. That a bag of chips would thematically go well with it, and they will be able to say... All that in yes. a bag of chips. I, I mean, I think, you know, if you're going to spend $30, $40 or whatever during the month of August, Criterion, Royal Tenenbaums, not a bad way to do it. Maybe Criterion can release the complete series of all that and also include a bag, a bag of, of chips, chips with That it. would be fantastic. <laughs> if Criterion is releasing, and we actually do know their publicist, maybe we can get that message to them. Criterion, all that. <laughs> Bag of chips special feature. Done. Now. Sell them all. Yeah. You'll sell them all. You got two people right here who would buy it. Just saying. I don't even watch all that. Yeah. I'd buy it. Uh, one of the surprise oh, cult yes. hits of the year. Oh. The Raid Redemption Loved coming it. out on Blu-ray. Loved it. Can't wait DVD. for the next two. Sadly, again, Blu-ray with digital and ultraviolet or DVD with ultraviolet huh. and Interesting. digital. I don't know why there's no Blu-ray digital hmm. or Blu-ray DVD combo I want, I, pack. I, I wonder if like there's just getting more of the demand for the digital and less demand for the Blu-ray DVD, or just more f for the digital. Maybe China. I don't know why you would just not release all of it in one package yeah. and save yourself the trouble of splitting it up. I would think so too, but you know, if you know. want more money, maybe. Or maybe if you're just smart like me, and they are not. You're smart. Oh, oh, yeah, that's it. right. Oh, yeah, if they're smart like you, that's right. Yeah, yeah like you. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. yeah. Some of us. I'm just saying, we package it all together and save themselves the trouble. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Mm -hmm. Pretty good pretty good release, actually, mm -hmm. though. You know, if you like the movie, yes. awesome. You're already good, in good place. You're but, already you know, if you like, idiot. If you like good DVD releases, mm -hmm. gravy. You got a commentary with the director, Gareth Evans. You have a behind-the-scenes video blogs from Gareth Evans. Mm. You have uh, music videos uh, be, or see, sorry, behind the, the music with Mike Shinoda hmm. uh, oh, from yeah. Linkin Park, yeah, who was right. responsible the for score. scoring it. You have uh, an evening with Gareth Evans and Mike Shinoda featurette, an anatomy of a scene featurette, Ooh. as well as four in conversations with Gareth Evans and Mike Shinoda featurettes. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty loaded. It's pretty loaded. And there's also an English dub of the film. Not recommending that personally. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand a, why you'd want to do that. For a foreign film to have that much of a release, that's that's pretty awesome. Yeah. I don't know why you'd want to do the yeah, the, the dub don't, version. Don't, don't watch dub. But for those don't who actually dubs. actually do that, I guess okay, it's there I, I, for okay, you. I get it. It's an action movie. It's going to move fast. You think maybe I won't read fast enough. Trust me. The Raid Redemption is not something you're going to gonna worry about words. They don't talk much other no. than yelling after yeah. a certain point yeah. in the movie. You don't need to worry about that. Trust us. Yeah. It'll be fine. Just Even if you're a slow reader. Don't do dubs. Don't. Just don't do it. Yeah. So, anyway, that's mm -hmm. some DVDs this week. Let us know what you would like. And join us for our next episode when we mm -hmm. talk about stop motion animation in honor of Paranorman. Paranorman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as always, you can let us know your feedback at MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffin, or Facebook dot com slash mcguffin podcast yeah get yes that, get that right uh phone number 323-761-9842 we're on itunes miro roku blip check in get glue and we'll see you next time Stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.